in isolation and that's okay but I'm kind of really missing um, exercise and I've kind of been realizing I have this huge barrier about exercising I kind of feel that it's something that I can't do particularly running I, I can't even run for a bus like if I have to run for a bus like I can't I, I you know I become kind of really tired I've got this kind of real physical barrier to kind of come through so there's there's something really I feel quite deep in there that's preventing me from exercising and I think it's probably something to do with not feeling well or fit or so and at this time when I really could be doing with exercising and feeling fit and well it's kind of come up as something I need to address so does someone else have to make you exercise? No. Okay. It's interesting. I didn't expect to get a truth on that one. So there's a resistance to, to it. Is it dangerous to exercise? Is it dangerous? Possibly. Possibly. Um, yeah. yeah. You're getting more, uh, more into resistance yeah. the more you think about it. You know, I was thinking that um, when I was young, I, I, I was cycling, which I don't, I can't cycle, but then I, I did. I just narrowly missed crashing into a car. So, yeah, so I, I maybe have this kind of. Mm -hmm. So, the truth, if you exercise, will you hurt yourself? I, I didn't hear that. What did you say? If you exercise, will you hurt yourself? Possibly. Yeah. So are you willing to step out of the story that if you exercise, you will hurt yourself? Yes. Oh, wow. You started to move and pull back. <laughs> okay. That was a neat one because you were about to move on it. Okay, let's go. Actually, let's take a step back. Whose story is it that if you exercise, you'll get hurt? Oh, no, that, that could be related to my father. My father used to kind of tell me that he thought I had some kind of heart problem when I was young. Oh, okay. So are you willing to step out of his story about your heart problem? Yes. <coughs> Seems a bizarre thing to say, but yeah, he used to kind of look at me and, and think that I had some kind of something wrong with me. Yeah. So are you willing to step out of his story that if you exert yourself, you will get sick or hurt? Yes. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, definitely some energy there. Yeah. So yeah, so he got worried about you and you just bought his story that you shouldn't overexert yourself or you might get a heart attack, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Are you willing to step out of the story that if you exercise, you'll get hurt? Yes. There we go. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> so does this mean I can go jogging tomorrow? Well, you can go <laughs> jogging now if you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How do you feel? Um, I don't know, I kind of feel this, it's like a bit of a, a kind of restriction. I still feel a, a kind of tightening mm. as though I'm holding back a bit. I'm, okay. I don't feel I've fully surrendered yeah. into that. Well, first off, you're going to start exercise, ease into it. <laughs> mm. 
it still feels like there. Are you trying to protect your father by not exercising? I don't think so. My father died of a heart problem when he was in his 50s. So, okay. you know, he, he knew he had this, uh, con this heart condition. Okay. So that, that first part didn't actually come up as true. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you're protecting your father by not exercising? Yes. <coughs> Are you willing to destroy the belief that you're honoring your father and what happened to him by not exercising? Yes. <coughs> Remember, the person doesn't have to be alive for the belief about them to still be there. Mm. And are you trying to make sure what happened to your father doesn't happen to you? I don't think so. Um, you know, I've kind of been checked out and um, you know, I'm fine. Yeah, and physically that's that's, you know, you'll be fine, but if energetically you're trying to avoid what happened to your dad, then your energy's in away from motivation and you're in resistance to the things that you want. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to avoid what happened to your dad? Okay. Um, yes. Oh. If that sounded weird to some people, what we're doing is we're getting out of the avoidance energy. We want her to move towards a healthy lifestyle, but you can't. She's she's not moving towards a healthy lifestyle. She's just avoiding what's happening to her dad. That's why the shift has to go there. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> 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 Okay, how does that feel? Well, it feels looser. Yeah, I do feel I'm, I'm letting some of that go. Mm -hmm. It's sure. a lifetime of work there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Yeah, it's still moving. Okay. <laughs> Whew. All right, you good? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, this is Shiraz, and if you made it this far, please click like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. And if you would like shifts like the person in the video, subscribe to our monthly magic program. The link is in the description. You will get monthly coaching as well as emails going out to help boost your vibration, your wealth, your success, and as well as a lot of other perks. And remember, be well be aware and be magical.